there from 2009 here recording for it's all about games community and uh, today we have a tutorial yes a uh, cool tutorial about how to create a skin for German Truck Simulator uh, we're gonna need three simple things which is the Charu trailer mod and uh, Photoshop and a plugin for Photoshop to open DDS files okay let's just uh, start. First I'm going to go to my mod folder and I'm going to look for my Charu uh, trailer mod and open it and basically what I want here is to find the trailer I want to skin. I know that this uh, Charu mod holds cheese and apples so I might wanna go on my game and find those the companies that uh, that whole cheese and apples I already made that so I have my game saved with that trailer and uh, it has the default skin and I know also that that um, uh, trailer default trailer it, it's uh, the Tradux so I'm going to work with the Tradux and uh, as you can see it's right here Tradux.dds going to drag that to the desktop by the way you go to vehicle trailer EU and uh, you find your default trailer okay we don't need that anymore and uh, we're going to minimize the mod folder now let's go to Photoshop and open that DDS file loading um, using default sizes this is the NVIDIA plugin to open DDS files you just uh, click OK OK <coughs> alright now we have this nice template uh, this one is the default for the Charu and uh, as you can see we can find here both sides this one and this one and uh, we also have the back and the front and the bottom on each side we also have the plate and our rear lights and uh, also we have the top uh, side of the trailer um, so first we're going to start with uh, the rectangle selection tool and uh, we're going to create a new layer and select a part of the side of this side okay I'm going to do that again grab the paint tool um, paint that black double click the new layer and uh, go to gradient, gradient overlay and uh, let's choose a nice black finish to this skin ok the scale full 150 and ok <coughs> sorry uh, control D to deselect and uh, now we're gonna add some font or letters there that say something the font I'm using it's uh, capture it if you're wondering <coughs> so now we are writing something enter nope just click OK V to move that to the center now double click that text layer gradient overlay and uh, let's choose a white with a gray okay okay full scale okay now we can make some large lines mm, create a new layer paint it with uh, white control D to deselect uh, let's just uh, copy that new layer you can uh, drag 
like that to the create new layer icon or you can just uh, click um, Control C and Control V. No, I'm sorry. It's uh, duplicate layer. can see we're using a lot of gradient overlay uh, for our uh, skin this is very basic gives a uh, softness on the, on the things you're creating let's see yes something like that softness smoothness scale And um, you can click OK. Right. Um, as you can see, we have now a side. You can repeat that side. Also, you can add images if you have one. You just go and open a new file. You drag it down. Uh, the new this new new document. And uh, when you're done with your skin, you just go file, save as, desktop, and you find the DDS uh, option, you hit save, ok, and uh, look, at, look at the options here, it has to be DXT5, RGB8 BPP, interpolated alpha, 2D texture, and uh, other stuff are default, and click save and uh, it'll take some seconds to save that file because it's a bit large um, ok it's saved now the skin it's already made here what we need to do is to overwrite that on the trailer mod we have so we open it vehicle trailer EU cherry ick and we drag this and it'll overwrite it automatically and um, now we have to test it so we're going to go to the game and going to cut here the, um, the recording and I'm going to open my game and I'll show you how it looks the, at least, at least uh, the side we made on the game 